touch the skin, touch all of this skin. Up next we have Rick, who never had a shot in hell, so we're just gonna rush through this. Honestly, I, I don't mean to discount Rick, but I just don't really ever think he was in the running. Like, he was there for some play, but that's about it. Honestly, Rick didn't put a bad collection together. He just put such a nondescript collection together. It was kind of sad to, like, watch the judges be like, oh my god, he, like, he did so much better than we thought. Like, da -da -da -da. they went on and on and on, how about he did a lot better than they thought, which was so embarrassing. I challenge you to like look at this collection and be like, what about this is definitively Rick? Like what is uniquely Rick? You're not gonna find it. Like I get it, he's like a LA rocker kind of guy, but there's just really nothing here. His first look is just, it's a black dress. I don't know why Nina was so excited about it. I really don't. <laughs> like I get it, sort of rock and roll Twiggy, but that's kind of a stretch, honestly. It's, it's honestly more Mary Quant than Twiggy. Look her up if you don't know. Second look is so Michelle Uberist. I can't friggin' even. Third look is actually really charming. I love the jacket. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Mondo Garrett and it's beautifully made, but his under pieces are so nondescript, it's painful. The, again, the same thing with the fourth look. Beautiful jacket, completely nondescript look. If you wanna revisit like a winning look from the season, that's fine. Go ahead, do it, support you, whatever. But like, don't expect the judges to react positively because they've seen it. Yeah, sure, remind them of like, oh, you did a great graphic bathing suit, whatever, you did. But like, don't give them the exact same one. Bad idea. Also, Project Runway Designers, stop trying to have an Uli moment with your swimsuit reveals. Never gonna happen. Uli mastered it. No one can touch her. Again, it's a gorgeous vest. I just, I don't know what about it is like Rick. He made gorgeous pieces that I feel like I could buy at Urban Outfitters or H&M. A little bit too commercial. There is no look in Rick's collection more indicative of way too commercial, way too nondescript than this. I feel like I've seen that jacket. I feel like I've seen that skirt. I just feel like I've seen all of it. That's just not how I should be reacting to a Project Runway finale collection. This is why Erin won, you guys. She did something that was so definitively her that it was probably all anyone could talk about afterwards. And I'm sorry, it doesn't matter how many people want to buy this. They're not going to if they've already bought it, if they can already buy it. Oh God, okay. Look number seven is just hideous. Like that vest is not okay ever. Those pants were not okay. We went from Urban Outfitters to Forever 21 and it's not cute. Don't do that to me, Rick. Don't do it. You're a sexy man. Don't make ugly things. I love his romper. His romper is super cute. If he had managed to do 10 looks like this, I would have a lot of trouble arguing went away from him. Again, this dress was super cute the last time we saw it. And if we had seen 10 looks like it, I just keep saying this, Aaron had 10 looks. Sure, maybe not all of them were great, but they were all I can think of every single one of the looks in Aaron's collection. Rick's looks and Lawrence's looks all kind of blend. Cohesion is important, but you want each of your looks to stand as its own thing. Rick's last look is so nothing, it's painful. Oh god, it's so nothing. Anyways. <laughs>